Hello everybody, my name is Dan Trainer. I'm a professional musician, I've been playing for over 45 years. I play lots of different instruments, but my number one instrument is this little guy right here, the harmonica. I started playing the harmonica way back in 1969. I was over in Vietnam in the infantry, had a great friend over there by the name of Bernie Willer. He introduced me to the harp, and I've been blowing this thing ever since. So many years ago, I began to experiment with using effects while I was playing my harp. I used the traditional microphone into the amp setup, like most harp players, but I wanted to try to see if I could get something more out of it. So I began to use some basic effects, um, a very, very old analog, DOD analog delay, an MXR six band equalizer, and an old boss flanger, hoping to try to get some sort of an organ sound out of the harp. And it was not bad. And over the years, I began to uh, experiment with other types of effects. Then several years ago, about uh, four or five years ago, I met Jason Ritchie, one of the finest, if not the best, harp player out there today. And he introduced me to a whole new world of playing the harmonica through effects and I've been at it ever since. I have a complete effects board now that uh, I play my harp through and what I'd like to do with this video is to demonstrate a little bit what some of those effects are and how they sound. I've been asked by a lot of people over the last several months exactly what my effects do and how they work and hopefully this video will explain that a little bit. This is my board. You can see it's a large board with several effects in it. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to go through each one of these effects, demonstrate them. I've got some uh, loops uh, to play against so you get an idea of what they sound like. And uh, take it from there. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take a look at the board. The first effect that I use in my chain is this old Boss Octaver, an OC2. I've had this for over 20 years. When I originally bought it, I hope to use it as a octaver, but it's not polyphonic. Now this is a trick that Jason taught me, because he uses one too. What you do is you set it up so that the octaves are barely on and that the effect itself is up all the way. And it becomes an incredibly effective compressor, adding presence and punch to a signal. For instance, this is what it sounds like without the octaver. <laughs> Here's what it sounds like with the octaver. <laughs> really a lot of punch, a lot of presence in the signal. So I leave it on all the time. The next effect processor in my chain is the Electro Harmon X Hog. This is one outrageous piece of equipment. I'm still learning how to use it. I'm barely scratching the surface on it. It is a octaver with two octaves down up to four octaves above, an envelope filter. It does a lot of really incredible things. I also have the Pog, which is the small brother of the hog. But Chris Mihalik from Phoenix turned me on to this, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm sure glad I've got it. It adds a big, big punch to the music.
next effect of my chain is the Hughes and Kettner rotosphere. I call it my B3 in a box. I've always wanted to be able to get a good organ sound on the harp so I could become part of the rhythm section. And boy, this thing really gives me that opportunity. Just like a regular Leslie, it has a fast speed, a low speed, and it also has a real tube preamp so you get a nice warm sound out of it. Something like this. <laughs> piece of equipment in my chain is the Maxon Ottawa. This is a uh, type of envelope filter. Again, this is something that the uh, world-class harmonica player from Phoenix, Chris Mihalik, turned me on to. You guys got to check out Chris. He's one of the best. He's right up there with Jason. And he uses a lot of these effects. So he's been a big, big influence on what I'm doing in terms of playing the harp right now. But this gives a, this is my funk machine. This gives you that funky feel. is a Boss DD3 Digital Delay. This particular one I had the Monte Almond Mod put in it, which really smooths the delay out, almost gives it an analog sound. Uh, it's a nice effect, I use it a lot. piece in the chain is my old workhorse, an original Boss DM2 delay. I've had this thing for almost 25 years. Boy, if something happens to it, I don't know. Well, that's pretty much it as far as my effects pedal board goes. And the effects just help it a lot more to achieve that sound that I'm after. 